Well, tomorrow is October, and this weekend, there's lots happening on and off the screen. This morning, we're bringing you a list of movies to add to your watch list, plus a special conversation with the star from one of your favorite classics, everybody's favorite. Here now with the new box office releases and the latest streams is Tom Santilli, film critic, co-host, and executive producer of Movie Show Plus. Good morning, Tom. We have a lot to get to uh, what's kicking off this weekend now that it's, it's kind of spooky season. There are a few new releases um, on the streaming side, things as well. So we're going we're gonna to get about those. Uh, we're going to get to those too. But um, tell us what's uh, about some of the new releases this weekend. Yeah, good to be here, Kevin. How is it almost October? It's, it's insane to me uh, that we're at this point. But we're here, so we just got to kind of go with it. And uh, th there is uh, a couple, yeah, like you said, it's a very busy weekend this weekend. The big headliner this weekend is a, a rom-com. It's called Bros. And I actually loved this movie. Uh, it's hilarious. It's authentic. Uh, it stars Billy Eichner and uh, Luke McFarlane. And it's just, it's, a, it's actually, it was nice to be in a theater watching a comedy again. Comedies have kind of gone straight to streaming over the last couple of years. Uh, and, and this was just a really good movie with something, something to say. Uh, so Bros is the big one. You can tell we're getting in October, though, because we also have a bunch of horror stuff coming out. Uh, we mentioned in, in the lead-in, you know, Smile is uh, is the big horror movie this weekend, if you're into that. Too creepy for me. I'm not a super horror guy. Uh, I don't know if you are, Kevin. Do, are you a horror, horror fan? I, sometimes. I usually like the ones that are so bad they're funny type of horror movies. Yeah, that's me, too. I'm, I'm kind of in that vein. Smile looks kind of creepy, but it's getting really good reviews on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, so those are the two big theatrical options this weekend. Yeah, and, and Billy Eichner, I think, is somebody that always has been, in my mind, so un, like underrated, and I'm surprised that we just haven't seen more of him in Hollywood. I know he's done a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff, but just yes. like one of the funniest people I think that there is in, in Hollywood. Um, and, and he's so great in this movie, and, and he really deserves... I mean, people don't give comedies enough credit when it comes to award season, but I sure hope if people had any you know, courage at all that uh, people would recognize bros, because I, I really think it's that kind of a groundbreaking movie. Awesome. That's great to hear. Uh, and well, we also have a few new releases on the streaming side of things. Um, yeah. What, what's coming out this weekend? Yeah, there's a movie that, uh, that's actually streaming on Apple uh, TV Plus this weekend. It, it started last weekend, actually, but I wanted to recognize it. It's uh, a documentary on Sidney Poitier, uh, and it's amazing. It's called Sidney. It's uh, produced by Oprah Winfrey. Uh, that's a, just a great, his story is unbelievable, and uh, it's a great documentary. Then you got Hocus Pocus 2. I know you're probably clamoring for that one, Kevin. Uh, you know, <laughs> uh, Hocus Pocus 2 is on Disney Plus this weekend. Uh, you know, it, the, the first one fl like flopped at the theaters. It, it wasn't, you know, well received from right. critics, but it became like a cult classic. And so why not? You know, uh, Disney Plus content creators they, that they are uh, decided to make a sequel. So that's out there. And then on Amazon Prime, there's another horror movie called My Best Friend's Exorcism that you can find on Amazon Prime. You know, Hocus Pocus, too, that's a, it's it's always a topic of conversation. And a lot of people like I didn't really like it or I don't think I saw maybe part of it as a kid. And so I just I didn't care yeah. for it. And so your people are either absolutely obsessed for it, can't wait for it. And then I'm just kind of like, eh, all right, you know, I'll watch it if I can find it free somewhere eventually down the road. But maybe even not then. Yeah, I, maybe <laughs> even not then. Yeah, <laughs> I, I wasn't a huge Hocus Pocus fan, but I feel like people that are will appreciate part two. Yeah. Well, and also this uh, this weekend we have uh, a new one of a kind haunted attraction that's going to be coming to Birmingham Eight Theater. What do you know yeah. about that? And 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 will there be some scary movies on the big screen there? So cool. So this is called uh, uh, Ghosts on the Balcony, and it's at the Birmingham Eight. And what they're doing is they're actually not showing any movies at all for the month of October, starting October first through the end of the month. They're shutting down the theater and, and they're turning it into a walk-through haunted house attraction, like a haunted theater. Uh, and it, it's it's supposed to be like a 60-minute thing that you can walk through. Uh, you can buy tickets. You know, I, go to imagine. Uh, you know, dot com. Go to their website. But uh, yeah, there's there's adult. You know, there's drinks and stuff. You can still buy concessions. It's supposed to be really cool and immersive. And they also are doing some family uh, days where if you come earlier, they'll kind of lower the scare level down so you can bring uh, the kids and stuff like that along if that's your thing that's a good idea a very unique uh, yeah very unique haunted house uh, haunted attraction idea love, love the idea uh before we go we also have to talk about the special event viewers can attend involving john Hader. is that right 
<laughs> yeah, if uh, any Napoleon Dynamite fans out there, this movie is almost 20 years old, uh, but it still has such a cult following. It, it's a highly quotable movie. Uh, at, at In Pontiac, this Sunday, October 2nd, there's a special Napoleon Dynamite live event uh, where you can watch the movie Napoleon Dynamite, and it's followed by a moderated Q&A with the actors themselves, John Hader, who plays Napoleon Dynamite, uh, Uncle Rico is there, uh, as well as uh, Pedro. So, like, the, the main cast go. is all there in person. You can check them all out. Go to the thecrowfoot.com to uh, look into information on getting tickets to attend Napoleon Dynamite Live. You know, Efren, the, the, the character who played Pedro was my uh, was, was a homecoming king, a guest of honor at my university, uh, about 15 years ago, so very exciting. Uh, I know. I thought you were going to say he was homecoming king, and I, that would have blown my mind. I wouldn't have been able to picture that guy winning homecoming king. Nothing against him, but yeah. I, I can't believe that movie's <laughs> like 20 character. years old now. That's crazy. But Tom Santilli, film critic, co-host, and executive producer of Movie Show Plus. Really appreciate your time. Good seeing you again, and uh, it's, it's time to get scared this weekend for, for October. We appreciate it. Absolutely. You, and hey, everybody, check me out on the noon hour at WXYZ today. I'm going to be revealing some of my favorite films thus far in 2022, so check that out. Uh, Channel 7. Awesome. WXYZ. All yeah. right. Thank you, Tom. Yeah, a lot of good ones so far this year. Well, still ahead right now.